Democratic New York Congressman Gerald Nadler joins me right now. Hey, Congressman, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Where is this going, you think? Well, where it's going, I assume, is to an investigation to see whether the allegations are, are can be substantiated. The allegations being that uh, Walmart's subsidiary in Mexico uh, uh, paid large-scale bribes on a systematic basis uh, to Mexican officials, and that when this was brought to the attention of high-ranking people at Walmart, uh, they covered it up. Uh, if that proves to be true, there ought to be indictments. What, what is the punishment for this sort of thing? I mean, um, you can go to jail, right, for this sort of stuff. You certainly can, I assume. I don't know the exact punishments, but these are felonies. So the reason why I mentioned this is, is a, a lot of Walmart sympathizers and supporters say, if this was business as usual in Mexico, I don't know one way or the other if it is, um, why target Walmart? Because of its size or because it doesn't have any union? Well, I don't think that either reason is, is the reason that Walmart is being targeted by these investigations. These investigations are occurring because evidence came out that Walmart uh, and high executives in Walmart systematically broke the law. Now, I don't know whether it is true or not that the kind of bribes they were doing, if they were doing them, uh, you have to make that caveat, they're not proven guilty yet. Right. But if they were offering these kinds of bribes, uh, uh, I don't know that that's the way they do business in Mexico every day. But even if it is, we passed, uh, I shouldn't say we, I wasn't in Congress then, but 30 years ago, uh, there, were, uh, there was a lot of embarrassment to American foreign policy and to the United States when uh, American executives were caught uh, systematically bribing foreign officials in a lot of countries. And the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act was passed to say that we are better than that. Our corporations can compete without systematic bribery. And uh, if we want uh, people around the world to look up to us, if we want to be able to compete with others, we have to do it honestly. And if, if Walmart wasn't, uh, then they ought to take the consequences. No, I remember quite well what you're saying. I mean, remember there was the Lockheed investigation, all of these government contractors and the like who were, who were brought up for, you know, embezzlement, that sort of thing, and trying to exact favors and setting up shop and getting orders abroad. But uh, there, there is this sort of gnawing issue of whether Walmart might be disproportionately being targeted here. Now, we, we don't know the magnitude of the problem. We do know some of the numbers involved. As I'm sure you're aware, that this might involve upwards of $65 million in bribes, might or might not. That's a lot of money. But well, for that, is, that is a lot of, well, well, that is a lot of money. I guess what I'm asking mm -hmm. is, then if you get similar numbers out of any large company, would you be just as zealous? Because that's what many are calling for now. Let's look at all American entities in Mexico and what they have done to set up shop in Mexico. Would any, you be any, open to that as well? Absolutely. Um, anyone who is caught doing large-scale bribery ought to be prosecuted. Now, you, you, you talked about whether uh, Walmart was being targeted because people don't like it because it's non-union or because it's uh, too big or whatever. There's no evidence of that. Right now, all we know is that there, that there are allegations with some substantiation of large-scale bribes and of a corporate cover-up conducted at the highest levels, and that's got to be investigated. When it's investigated, when we see the evidence, when we see the actions that are taken, then people can decide that the Justice Department is acting appropriately or, or not.